for YouTube. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, that was my French accent. Anyway, this here is that guy with the eye patch. As if you didn't know that, because you clinked, clinked. <laughs> you clicked the link to bring you here, and it says right on on the title, that guy with the eye patch. So anyway, wanted to do this video here for a long time because if you're anything like me, you get stressed out. And whether it be because you're prepping, you know, for September with the Shemita or Shmita or uh, however the hell you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I'm only like a 30-second Jewish. But anyway, if, you, if it's for that, and if you don't know what that is, basically what that means is the globalist, Zionist, New World Order, whatever you want to call the elite group of people in this world that think they run everything, they're supposed to be trying to do a lot of shit at the end of September. I'm not really sure what all it covers, but got a lot of preppers nerv nervous, got a lot of political people nervous, and it's got a lot of financial people nervous. They're worried about a market collapsing. Can't much say I blame them there because things point to it happening. It was going to happen sooner or later. But anyway, if, if you stress for that, or if you're just stressed in your everyday life because your job, you know, your wife won't shut up, won't give you none, or whatever the point may be, you know, your kids, money, 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 all the time, which that's kids. But whatever it may be that's got you stressed out, and I mean if you're a regular Joe like me, and I assume if you're watching this video, you ain't one of them globalists or Zionists or New World Orderists or any of them people because I don't think you'd be watching me if you are. So anyway, how do you calm down from that shit? Oh, and before I go any further, just wanted to let everybody know if it seems like I'm breathing kind of hard, my allergies are acting up and kind of making it hard to breathe. But I'm still here. I'm still alive and kicking and... I know what most of you are thinking right now. Won't this guy just shut the fuck up? And no, I'm not going to shut up because I like to talk too much. I talk all the damn time. Anyway, though, back to relaxing. Now, this ain't something a lot of people talk about. I ain't heard very many people mention it. Not in the prepper community, anyway. It seems kind of odd. It seems like a lot of people want to keep everybody nervous. Hmm might be something to that don't you think maybe it's the whole business just shot up around this prepping stuff not to say prepping's bad at all because I don't think it is and I think we're headed to something so I think it's good to be prepared for it but I think a lot of people's taking advantage of that running businesses and selling selling a lot of stuff that don't need to be paid such a high price for so anyway as you can see by the title, this is the Redneck's Guide to ASMR. Now, I'm not sure what ASMR stands for. I mean, it could stand for ass, shit, motherfucker, and I don't know what the R could stand for. I don't know any cuss words to start with R. But anyway, I don't think that's what it stands for. Not really sure what it stands for. As to what it is, I can tell you what it is or what it does anyway. What it does is it just calms you right the hell down. I'm not kidding, y'all. And I know what a lot of y'all are thinking. Y'all are thinking, come on now, that guy with the eye patch. That ASMR seems like a lot of new age hippie bullshit. And hey, I thought the same thing when I first started listening to this. But trust me, it works. Now what it does is it, it activates triggers, and it's in quote marks. And it ain't like an SJW's triggers. This ain't, you know, you got called a mean name on the internet, so now you think you got PTSD. No, it ain't that. What it does is it triggers you to feel relaxed and tingles all over your body, which, you know, is a nice feeling. And what people do is they'll get on the microphone and they'll do low whispers. You know, talking like this. I'm guessing. And they'll, uh, you know, these ladies, and some of the guys too, let's be honest, they'll put on lipstick and every time they talk, they'll make mouth sounds, their lips will be smacking. And it just, like I said, it calms you down, sends tingles throughout your whole body, makes your whole outlook feel better. Don't ask me why it works either, because 
again, I thought it was new age hippie bullshit when I first started listening to it, but it works. Now, I can be I can be keyed up, pissed off, stressed out, ready to put my fist through somebody's face, just basically ready to go on an ass whooping spree. Tell everybody in, in my whole state to form a single file line so I can whoop all your asses. I can be ready for that. I didn't say I could accomplish it. I can just be ready to. Anyway, I'd be like that. I'd pop in my headphones and listen to an ASMR video by one of my favorite ASMR people. I'm just calm right down. You know, sometimes I get so calm, I can't even make a fist if I tried. Because I've tried. I'm just so relaxed. My muscles, they won't contract hard enough to make a fist. Now, some of you may be wondering, hey, that guy with the eye patch, first of all, why are you saying your name so damn much? Well, it's because it's my video. Fuck you. Second of all, you may be wondering, what's some good ASMR videos to try out? Well, I'll leave some links in the description to a couple of my favorite ones. One of them's by what seems like a nice young lady. Her name, her YouTube name is Brittany ASMR, and she has a pretty good video that I like to listen to. Another one would be Neon Indie Girl. Seems like a sweet girl out of Australia. Won't hold that against her too much. <laughs> but like I said, she seems like a sweet girl. And if if you you pedophile people trying to claim I'm saying some shit like that, put your fucking keyboard down. When I mean she, she seems sweet, what I mean is I wouldn't mind one of my kids being friends with her, okay? Anyway, there's some of the smaller ones of the ASMR community. They're not huge, you know, with 150 million subscribers or whatever. I mean, they're bigger than me, but I mean, hell, who ain't bigger than me? I think fucking Web Driver Torso and goddamn Terra the Android have more subscribers than I do. But anyway, I'll leave some links in the description to them. Go check them out. Now, my personal favorite one in Neon Indie Girl is the lip smacking video, which is weird. I thought the first time I listened to it, actually, that was my first ASMR video I listened to. I thought that was just going to piss me off because I hate it when people smack their lips when I'm talking to them. Back in my younger and crazier days, there's been a guy talking to him. Yeah, man, I did this and it did that and... And I just, I hauled off and slapped the shit out of him. Because I hate when people do that. If you can't talk without smacking your lips, keep your fucking mouth closed. Pardon my French, but I did introduce this video in French. So you should have known there was going to be a lot of French in it. Anyway, go check them out. Give their sites a little bit of love. Find out for yourself whether ASMR works for you. And until next time, this is that guy with the eye patch. Gamers, gamers, gamers. Gamer girls, nerd, wait, I'm trying to rip off Alpha Omega Sin and I can't get his fucking r phrase right. Nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on. Yeah, there we go.